plains of Central Africa, Mecca for the hunter with rifle or camera, one of the last strongholds of free-roaming big game. African wildlife makes a fascinating study. Strange companions are the delicate egrets and ponderous hippopotami, but the strange is the commonplace in Africa, as witness the zebra and four-ton bathing beauty. Some bird species are so abundant that mass flights literally blot out the sun. Clumsy on land, the hippo moves gracefully in the water, even if he does stumble sometimes. 10 to 12 feet of slashing fury when aroused, the crocodile rules his river kingdom. Other amphibious creatures give him a wide berth, but not even a crocodile would have the courage to interfere with a battle between two aroused hippos a fight over a lady love. This safari is hunting specimens for zoos, but this chimpanzee figures it's the other way around. Apparently abandoned by its parents, the chimp quickly adopts the hunter as foster mother and father. This is a good omen for the success of the expedition. She's christened Trudy and becomes the mischievous mascot of the safari. Trudy shows no instinctive fear of man, and she has no mother to teach her differently. In Africa, the inflexible law of the survival of the fittest rules the fate of every animal. A skulking hyena is feasting on a carcass he has found. The vultures and the jackals keep at a safe distance, waiting impatiently to move in on what the hyena leaves. Then the scavengers take over. It's another chapter in nature's constant striving to keep a balance among the various species. A jackpot for animal collectors, a pair of leopard cubs. They appear to be fine, healthy specimens, young enough to be adaptable to zoo environment, yet old enough to wobble along on their own four legs. Trudy is curious about the two newest members of the party, but they have only one thing on their minds at the moment, what's to eat. Cubs make themselves right at home and find they have few problems to wrestle with. A lion on the prowl for food, relentlessly stalking his prey with uncanny skill, driving his victim where his mate lies in wait. This is the first lesson in survival for the lion cubs, for they must be taught the skills of the hunt. Lions are noted for their solicitude in training their young. Speed and cunning pitted against each other, and local residents like the ostrich beat a strategic retreat as the hartebeest dodge and twist their way to safety. Sheer instinct sends the lion into a thicket where he brings down a zebra for the family feast. The cubs are introduced to the predatory life they must lead. An unwary jackal spies the martial eagle too late. He's caught up in the deadly vice-like claws of the largest and fiercest eagle in Africa. Majestic, aloof, the eagle kills only for food, and he is a key in maintaining the delicate balance of nature among the smaller animals. Guinea fowl feeding on the plains are spotted by a hawk eagle. comes the kill with speed that is sometimes faster than the human eye can follow. Man takes his toll of wild creatures, but not all men shoot animals in Africa. Some capture them alive for zoos. Native beaters can study a sign here, a clue there, and with unerring skill, lead the hunter to his quarry.
Thereafter, secretary birds, a comparatively rare long-legged hawk. The secretary birds have strong legs but weak wings. When they panic during the chase, dashing around in circles, the natives keep after them until they collapse from exhaustion. The bird gets its name from its distinctive hairdo. The feathers back of its ears are like the quill pens of yesteryear. A hunt of a different stripe, this time zebras. He's speedy, and an African version of the American cowboy rides the truck fender with a noose pole. Skillful maneuvering on the part of the driver brings him close enough to drop the loop over the zebra's neck. Native techniques call for one man to grab the zebra by the lip to prevent him from biting, for the zebra fights viciously with its teeth. The Bantu tribesmen who were responsible for the success of the expedition had an emergency arise. A marauding lion is slaughtering their cattle. This time the hunters set out not to capture but to kill. A lion who has learned to attack domesticated animals will turn on villagers next. The lion is spotted. A quick shot. He's wounded. But he leaves a trail that's easy to follow. The bearers take to the trees as the beast, enraged with pain, charges. The first two shots miss. His third hits home. A 450-pound menace destroyed. Climaxes this safari into the heart of the African game country. It's time to turn homewards. Home with a cargo all destined to the stellar attractions in some zoo. Remember those tiny leopard cubs? Now even Trudy's surprised at how they grew. And they grew to like roughhousing, such as a spot of wrestling now and then. It's fitting that a successful hunt ends in a romp. Africa, and this intimate glimpse into the ageless struggle of nature's creatures to survive.